Hi, I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. And today we're going to give you a couple of quick tips on how to change your transmission pan. First thing we have to do is locate it. It's going to be under the car. And first, I have to remove this plastic cover to find the pan. Once we've got the plastic cover removed, we're going to locate the pan. This is the transmission pan on this car. When we remove this transmission pan, many quarts of oil are going to fall out of it. So we're going to want to use a little common sense here. We're going to take the bolts out in an order that will allow us to let the fluid drain out of one end. So I'm going to start at this end, taking all these bolts out until I get to this back side. Before I take the bolts out to the back side, I'm going to put a drain bucket under the pan and I'm going to pry it down with a screwdriver to let the fluid run out. Then I'm going to loosen up these back bolts, let the pan dangle, and the fluid will run right into the drain bucket. Once most of the fluid is drained out of our transmission, we're going to hold the pan up against the transmission, remove the remaining bolts, and then lower the pan down in the same way it was before. This end first, let the fluid out, and walk it over to our bench. After the pan is removed, there's still many quarts of fluid inside the transmission. And the fluid that's in the torque converter will want to seep out as we're doing our procedure. So it's a good idea to have a drain bucket under the transmission while the pan is removed. So it would be a good idea, once we have the pan off, to install a new filter. It's also a good idea to install a new gasket. Once we attach the filter, we're going to then install a new gasket and place our pan back on our transmission. We're going to tighten the bolts in roughly the same sequence that we took them off, but we're not going to tighten them until we get all the bolts in the transmission. The reason is this, if we start tightening the bolts, we won't be able to get the back ones in as they won't line up. So all the bolts will need to be in finger tight and then we can tighten them all down at the same time. You want to check for the specific torque reference for these bolts. If you tighten them too much, it will destroy the gasket and your transmission pan will leak. Now that we have our pan installed, we're going to have to go up top and refill this transmission with transmission fluid. So these are some tips on how to change your transmission pan. I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts.